Hello everybody, welcome to Snyder's Inc. Before we get into this reaction video, I would just like to thank all of you who are watching this for one year of Snyder's Inc. This has officially been here for a year. We've just the official one year anniversary of us starting this channel. And God, what a what a way we've grown. Um I started doing this channel having 50 subscribers from a different thing I was doing on this and then I went and it has grown to me having 250 as of right now subscribers it is insane to think I have we've gone this far and all of you who have supported this channel and shown support and growth of this channel i thank you um i don't plan to stop anytime soon trust me on that i love what i do i love doing this there are people who some reason just my pure presence of reacting deeply offense to their very core but that's their fault problem not mine thank you all for the one year and we continue with another reaction video here as we react to slapped ham and his mysterious video videos mysterious videos viewers are struggling to explain we're gonna get right into this hit the like button hit subscribe button comment what you think down below comment What you thought of these videos down below original link will be in the description below are you guys ready of course you're ready let's go How you doing? I'm Callan, and this is Slapped Ham. Today we're looking at some mysterious clips that can't quite be explained. So hit that subscribe button and get ready for more creepy content. Just like this. As the UK and the rest of the world mourn the death of Queen Elizabeth, her funeral was broadcast to millions of viewers. However, during ITV News' rolling live coverage of the event, something rather eerie was heard during the broadcast. But listen. The death is irreversible, and the fact that she's dead, as you can see. The death is irreversible? Did I just hear that right? The death is irreversible. What a bizarre... What a bizarre random ham thing to have thrown in there. Why was that thrown in here? That's weird. That sounds really weird. Listening to that again, it sounds like someone says the death is irreversible and the fact that she's trapped. The death is irreversible. She's yeah, that definitely is what, like, I hear, I definitely hear that. I definitely hear the death is irreversible. I don't, the fact that she's trapped line is, the last line of it's trapped could probably be making it because the person just starts talking. I have no idea what that, whose voice that is, but that's really bizarre to have in there. I don't know what, who that is and what that is, but that is really bizarre to have at someone's funeral thing. That's weird, like, I don't know what that is. There's an awkward pause before one of the anchors tries to maintain composure and comment on what's happening in the visuals. Uh, as you can see here in London, it is a lovely day, and as the hearse heads out into West London... Naturally, with so many millions of people watching the coverage play out live, this freaky little clip went viral on Twitter. Thousands of retweets racked up as people were shocked by the eerie murmuring. Some people said it could be a co-host whispering, not realizing her mic was still on. But the words she whispers are truly bizarre. 
Some aren't buying this theory, saying it has to be some kind of EVP or electronic voice phenomena. Many paranormal experts believe that spirits and other entities can sometimes communicate via radio waves, delivering messages from the beyond, often in a fragmented or stilted way. They claim that EVPs can be heard as incomplete sentences, single words or jumbled phrases. So far, no. I don't know. Um, I don't think the even co-host, the guy who was doing it, actually heard it. I don't think he paused for the fact that he was trying to keep composure because he was terrified of what he heard. I bet he didn't hear it. I bet this is a scenario where something did get that voice, that that sentence didn't get heard. He probably didn't hear it, but just everyone else did. That's what I'm assuming. No one's been able to... F what it is, I have no idea. But I'm just going to assume that's what happened. ...fully explain this bizarre incident. And unless ITV explains what really happened, this eerie whispering will have to remain a mystery. The death is irreversible, and the fact that she's... As you can see... This one was posted to our Slaptam subreddit by user MasterAllen73. It's nearly 4am and this resident and his girlfriend are fast asleep when suddenly their home security system catches this in their bedroom. Take a look. Out of nowhere, the door closes, seemingly all on its own. The OP notes that the door even had a door stop in place, so it's particularly odd that it moved in the first place. The uploader says that other strange things have happened around the home, but usually they try to dismiss it as something more rational. However, it's been happening so often lately that they're beginning to suspect something more mysterious might be afoot. They only moved in a little over eight months ago, but over that time they've heard disembodied voices and creaking footsteps at all hours of the night. They even allegedly saw a candle in the bathroom move several feet, then smash on the floor. Some commenters suggested it might just be a breeze that made the door move. However, the OP thinks it's unlikely, as the house doesn't have central heating or cooling, plus the door had a door stop in place. So could this house really be haunted? How do you... I mean, it's possible to be honest, right? This is I'm I'm gonna reveal how how much of a dip how much of a dipshit I am. I saw the guy's face when he was over here. I thought he was wearing a mask, and I was like, "What the fuck is this guy wearing a mask for?" Then I realized, just the guy looks weird. I kind of don't look good with the ang with the camera quality here. But after I realized, I I just moved on from it. But I just had to mention that because it kind of annoyed me how weird I was there. Uh, as for what happened here, this, I'm going to assume that the guy's lying about a door stopper. I'm just going to assume he's lying and that this door closed because of breeze. For some reason, I find someone sleeping with a door open weird anyways. Don't know why it's just a me thing. I don't do it. It's just weird to me. But yeah, I find that weird. So yeah. This thing just decides to unpause itself and I don't like it. That's what I assumed happened. I'm going to assume a breeze came through and closed it. Can you explain the moving door? Let me know your thoughts on this one in the comments down below. This next bizarre piece of footage was brought to our attention by viewer David K. It's a viral clip that's been spreading around social media this past couple of months. This video shows what should be a joyous moment as this boyfriend proposes to his girlfriend. What's gonna happen here? Oh god, what's gonna happen here? Please tell me some ghost. The paranormal thing that starts, ah, oh, oh, you ain't doing that today. You ain't gonna do that in my place, in my world. Uh uh. What's happening here? 
Everything seems to be going really well. Until this happens. For some reason, the woman's mood switches and she suddenly becomes agitated and aggressive. She storms around the room yelling. Everyone looks startled and confused. Unfortunately, the clip ends abruptly and we don't get to see how this pans out. Some people have said... Okay, no, 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 that's stage. There's that stage. There's no way. There is no freaking way that actually happened. There is no... That is so weird and her acting is so over the top. It's staged. I'm pretty sure it's only staged, I bet you, by the camera holder, the woman, and the ca and the guy. And everyone else's action is genuine, where they're so confused on what the hell is going on. But there's no way that actually happened. There was no way that actually happened to the boy. It has to be staged. It could just be a hoax, and then it's all set up to generate a bit of social media buzz. But, judging by the people's reactions in the background, they genuinely look frightened and confused by the woman's strange reaction. No, no, no. It's just by her, this dude, and the guy who person on the camera. Everyone else is completely out of the loop by it and are confused as hell. I guarantee you. My own curiosity is what is this? Okay, let's say. Let's say this guy, what they're thinking. What the hell is this guy thinking? He want to go propose to a chick who is possessed by a demon. This guy would probably be thinking, yeah, never mind, you know what, I rescind that, I'm going to put this back in here, I'll find, no, thanks, we're good, we're done, bye-bye, because -bye. this just random as shit. So what do you make of this? Why did this sweet moment suddenly turn so weird? Love to hear your theories on this one in the comments down below. This next wild piece of footage comes from a live stream on a recent SpaceX mission. The camera is rolling, overlooking a part of the craft, when suddenly it captures this in the background. Oh. An unidentified object flies by. Yeah, that was definitely random. Unexpected thingy. That was definitely some unexpected flying thingy. I don't know what that was. If you zoom in, it looks to be spiraling as it flies by. Some commenters said it might just be space junk, but others aren't so sure. To deepen the mystery, another similar sighting has taken place on a separate SpaceX launch. This event happened in April 2021, shortly after the SpaceX Dragon and its crew took off. Take a look at what was caught on camera. Another mysterious object can be seen moving from right to left. The sighting took place as the Falcon 9 rocket separated from the rest of the Dragon. The unknown object narrowly misses both craft and passes right through the middle. Some experts studied the footage and suggested it could be a chunk of ice that formed from the liquid oxygen that releases from the rocket. However, there's been no official confirmation from NASA or SpaceX on what the object might have been. So for now, unless more info comes to hand, these two strange sightings will have to remain a complete mystery. I'm also, whatever that is, that is not connected to this, because that would fly from a way different direction all the way over here, so I don't know what it is. But it had nothing to do with this thing right here. To me, Momo, you went to a haunted cemetery, your ass is stupid. So I'm just going to mention this. Where all math this guy put himself in the stupid category for me. There is a popular paranormal Facebook page. They regularly investigate notorious and creepy locations around Mexico. In this clip, they search an old cemetery for signs of supernatural activity. Shortly into their investigation, they call out to see if any spirits might be present. 
Demuéstrame lo que estás aquí. Uy. A few seconds later, this happens. Uy. The gate appears to shake. Spurred on by this eerie activity, the investigator tries using the popular ghost hunting app Ghost Tube on his phone. Mira, ya ves. Mira, mira, mira. Sí, ya ves, aquí está, mira. The app appears to detect something above the grave. ¿Cómo te llamas? Yo estoy con el Ivin. Demuéstrame que estás aquí. Ahí está bailando, mira. A short while later, as he tries to communicate with a possible spirit, more activity is caught on camera. The gate shakes for a second, third time. I will say one thing, they are not near this gate. They are not near it. It's not like a time where they would go and they would, um... Stay right in front of me and starts to shake, so you question it. They are nowhere near this gate, so I don't know what caused it. Could be wind, but I guess it wouldn't just shake then stop shaking for wind. So I don't know. I don't know what this is. What's causing this thing to shake? If you got guesses, let me know. The video then ends shortly thereafter. And while a lot of people think the Ghost Tube app is designed to detect things just for a bit of fun, it's a little harder to explain the shaking gate and padlock. There doesn't appear to be any string or wires manipulating it. So what do you think? Is this encounter genuine? Or is there another way to explain what's happening here? Watch the footage again and decide for yourself. ¿Cómo te llamas? Yo estoy con el Ivin. Demuéstrame que estás aquí. Ahí está bailando, mira. ¿Qué? El candado. Sí, el candado como hace. Before we take a look at a freaky series of events that are playing out over on TikTok, remember to hit that subscribe button, then tickle that little bell icon there and turn on all channel notifications. That way you'll be in the loop every time we drop our scary and creepy videos. Our last segment of the day comes from a TikToker who's been documenting some very strange activity inside of his apartment. Several of the clips have gone viral, prompting an ever-growing audience of followers to speculate on what's really going on. It all began when user Domatic Ian uploaded a short clip showing some very unusual banging inside of his home. Yeah, we've seen this clip before. I'm pretty sure I've done a video with this clip on it. I feel I have. I might be wrong, but I know I've, I feel like I've seen this before. He opens the door. There's nothing there. I mean, this is my whole closet right here. It's my kitchen. The OP says that the building was built back in 1932, and while he's normally a fairly level-headed sort of person, the continued activity has led him to speculate that the property might be haunted. Is the same noise again, but during the day. In the afternoon, just to prove that there's nothing there. This time he opens the front door to prove that there's no one outside of the apartment banging. Just to prove. He then opens the closet, and as before, there's no one there. This is, okay, see, that choice was smart, because that's what I first thought. I was like, okay, there's someone at the front door banging. Someone outside the front door banging, and he's just only open the side door. This time, he proved it. He's like, no, there's no one at the front door, and there's no one on the side door. There's no one in the closet door, either. So that was very good proof. I still don't, I don't know what it is. I still feel like it looks like there's a doorway here, but I could be wrong. 
It does look like a doorway area right over here in the corner there. So I don't know what, I, but I still, I don't know what it is. Following these clips going viral, Domatagian started gaining followers who were keen on getting involved with the mystery. Before long, they started asking questions. Nobody's ever been hurt. It's usually just the banging on the door. Do I 100% believe that it is something paranormal? Well, not 100%, but I'd like to try and disprove that it is something like a ghost first. And while he's not ruling out something paranormal, he says he's quite skeptical and that he just wants to solve the mystery. Spurred on by his followers, the OP ran a live stream where he tried communicating with any alleged spirits that might be present. All right, let's try and get it on camera this time. Uh, can you explain psychic? Can you tell me what psychic means? Catherine. You're a Catherine that's a psychic? If so... And when trying to communicate further, this happens. Catherine, would you like to tell us why... Stop you... recording. The I... app tells him to stop recording. And judging by the look in his eyes, he's quite terrified by the response. This is an ongoing saga over on TikTok, and there's a lot more we weren't able to cover here. So I highly recommend you head over and watch the events play out. As always, I'll put a link in the description box down below. In the afternoon, just to prove there's nothing there. Jesus Christ. That is one hell of an end in sight. That is a hell of a thing that he's got going on there. And I hope he figures out what the mystery is. Because I'm curious too. Ladies and gentlemen, hope you all enjoyed this reaction video. Thank you all for one year of Snyder's Inc. We're going to be continuing off two, three, four, many years to come. Hope you all enjoyed this reaction video. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, comment what you think down below. Thank you all for watching. I'll see you all for the next one.